Hey there, Justice Egan here. Excited to cut this short video for you today. You know, I've got a question. Do you ever wonder where to start when it comes to building an online presence or your personal brand online so that you can attract the right customers, clients, and teammates for your business? Today I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to give you three tips that will help you make sure the foundation is properly set for building a successful online brand. You know, when it comes to getting started, well, that's kind of the key is to get started. You know, people become very self-conscious about the way they're represented online and always want everything to be perfect. You know, I showed some students of mine recently, some of my old stuff, and they got a chuckle out of it. But the point was, is to show them that you've got to get out in the marketplace and you're going to fix and refine your brand and your messaging over time. You know, my first tip for you is to brand your name. You know, sometimes I see people successfully brand slogans and things like that, but the reality is, is what you represent and some of your beliefs are going to change over time and that stuff may become incongruent with what you represent currently and a lot of times people when they do that have a tendency to get too pitchy, too money messaged and that creates a lot of resistance. You are what makes your brand special. So, you know, when you're getting your Twitter handle, when you're buying your domain, keep it simple. Okay, build it all around your name because that's never going to change. You're never not going to be at the center of your business. Number two is to be authentic. Ultimately, it's what makes you you that's going to separate you from the noise. You know, don't try and, you know, run middle of the road and, and, and just be this, you know, vanilla trainer that's coming to the marketplace. Make, make your marketing, make you the center of your marketing, make you, okay, what makes your marketing special. Because that is what's going to make sure that the right person is following you, is joining you, is buying from you. You and your authenticity and your candor and your transparency and your special quirks, okay, the way you deliver a message is what's going to set you apart from the marketplace. Lastly, know your target audience. You know, not everybody is in your target audience and you don't need to be a jack of all trades and try and be the right person for all people. You know, you're not looking for the right million, you're looking for the right thousand and the key to attracting them is to identify what their problem is and solving it. And if you haven't identified who they are, you can not figure out what keeps them tossing and turning at night so that you can get out there, solve it, and attract them as customers and teammates. So I hope you found this information helpful and valuable. If you did, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you'd like to learn more about this kind of stuff, I've got a special invite for you. You know, this Friday night, my friend, business partner, and home business rock star, Tanya Lies, is joining me on a webinar where she's going to roll out her ultimate branding blueprint. You know, she's going to show you some information that's helped her sponsor over 100 people in the last 12 months, win four fully paid for vacations, earn a luxury car, and she's done it all without hounding her friends and family or calling deadbeat leads. She's done it by attracting the right customers and having herself perfectly positioned in the marketplace. This is something that can help you, and if you want to get those kind of results, if you want to brand yourself successfully online, Click the link below or visit justiceegan.com forward slash Tanya Live and get registered now for this Friday night's webinar. I'll see you there.